All right, I want to talk about program design now. Now, um, program design is is actually fun. It's why people hire me uh, to train them. One of the reasons why is because it's my job to see where they're at right now and give them slightly sl small micro adaptations or slight progressions so that way at the end of the month or two months or three months their body has progressed immensely. Uh, as I said before, you can't just never work out and all of a sudden do a 200 pound bench press. You, you can't do it, your body will fail. But what you can do is start off with 50 pounds and then maybe next week 55 pounds and the next week maybe 60 pounds. Slight micro progressions eventually will lead you to the major progression. And that's how your body adapts and that's based off the set principle and that's how your body gets stronger. So with program design, um, OPT model is one of them. It, it makes it very simple. Uh, optimal performance training model it makes it very simple, the, the pyramid that we just talked about. Um, to progress clients um, or yourself. Now, if you're noticing, if you're doing an exercise and um, the exercise is too easy for you, when I say easy, what that means is you're you're doing 25 reps and you can keep going forever. It's too easy. It, 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 you can keep going with repetitions. That means the one rep max of that exercise is really, really, really low. Okay. So what does that mean? One rep max. That's exactly what it means. One rep max it means one rep. 100% of one rep max means it's 100%. It means you can only do one rep. That means the exercise is extremely hard, and I typically don't have clients do that. It's all power lifting. We stay away from that. We're trying to stick with us maybe around 65% to 85% of your one rep max. And um, what that yields is about. 85% is about 8 to 12 reps, 65% is about 20 to 25 reps. And what we're looking for is failure here. At 8 to 12 reps, you fail, meaning you can't push another rep without compensating or, or hurting yourself. And then uh, 12 to 25 reps, okay, reps. Uh, same, same idea, 20 to 25 reps is where you fail. And um, it is, that is one thing that you can change uh, in order uh, to, for, for your program design. If you're in strength training, you're focused more on the 85% to get stronger. If you are in stability training, you're focused more on repetitions that build endurance. Um, muscles have local strength and local endurance, muscular endurance, and it's important to have both. You can't just be strong and then you know fail after one rep and vice versa. You can't. You can, I mean, you can train your body that way, but it's more. You have a more. It's more. You have a hop. Blah, blah, blah. You have a more functional body uh, if you are able to have strength and endurance. The best body you can have is a body that is strong with endurance, with flexibility, and the worst body you can have is the exact opposite. With that, it is a very tight, immobile, weak body. Most injuries can occur from having that uh, having that type of body. All right, so um, 65 to 85%, uh, 20 to 25 reps, eight to, uh, eight to 12 reps. Um, and that's how you change your uh, intensity. Um, then you have frequency. I'm, I'm, I'm basically describing the fit principle right now. Frequency. Now, you don't want to exercise the same muscle group every single day. Uh, it's considered overtraining. You're, you need to give your body at least, usually around 48 hours to repair muscle tissue. Because your body doesn't have enough time to completely recover from your workout. And uh, when you overtrain, you're having limited uh, benefits from that, uh, in the sense that you're not gonna actually get stronger, you can actually get weaker or, or basically lose muscle doing that. So it's not, not it's not, don't do that. Uh, frequency, uh, how often you work on the muscle. If, if, if you are resting for 48 hours, for example, you can work out the same muscle group three days a week, right? So if you have a, um, uh, you can do like a Monday, um, Wednesday, Friday schedule, almost 48 hours, you can do, um, you can do legs, legs, 
right? So if you, if you did it in the morning, um, next morning is 24 hours, next morning is 24 hours, about 48 hours. Um, that, that, that is a possibility. And then you would pair Tuesday and Saturday with maybe chest, back, and shoulders. Okay. I need more room. Time again. All right, so we did the frequency. Uh, we have intensity, which we already described. So um, time is another one. Time is how long you're in the exercise. So you can do isometrics if you want to, or how long uh, how long you're doing le a leg workout. Maybe you want to do a, a two minute leg workout. Maybe you want to do a two hour leg workout if you're crazy. Um, and then type. And type is types of exercises. So you got leg press, for example, you're doing legs. Leg press, you got hack squats, you got regular squats, you got lunges, you got alternate lunges, lateral lunges, transverse lunges, remaining deadlifts, uh, straight legged deadlifts, uh, list goes on and on, non quad extensions, abduction, adduction, calories, blah, 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 blah. Um, so those are four different ways you can change an exercise. Effect. Uh, uh, Essentially, there are a lot more different ways to change an exercise. Um, frequency, intensity, time, type. And you got planes of motion, so you got sagittal. Uh, frontal plane. You got transverse. So three planes of motion you can change an exercise to. Uh, you can focus on concentrics. Eccentrics, isometrics. Uh, so concentrics, so you can focus more on explosive power. You can focus on eccentrics where you're, you're decelerating the weight uh, or isometrics where you're just holding like a plank, for example. Uh, eccentrics are the strongest muscle contraction of your body. Um, if, you, if you do eccentrics, uh, you're actually gonna get a lot stronger because you're breaking down your body at the strongest point. Uh, isometrics are second strongest and concentrics are actually the weakest part of your body. Most people just focus on concentrics, which is fine. Uh, eccentrics are also called negatives, which you've probably heard of. Um, negatives is, um, is tension, uh, stretching under tension. So if you're doing a push up, it's literally coming down nice and slow off, off the floor and put, exploding your stuff up. Uh, all right, what else have we got here? Sagittal frontal transverse, concentric, eccentric, isometric. Then you got stability, three phases, right? You can work out in that phase. You can work on the strength phase, strength. And you got power. Um, so we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 different ways uh, to change one specific exercise. So you can kind of see how you can get really creative and crazy with your program design. Uh, you can change, for example, a push-up in all of these different uh, different ways. Push-up, how many, how often you do a push-up in the week? Uh, intensity, maybe you want to add weight to your push-up, make it harder. Time, how how long you do the push-up for? Uh, type, different types of push-ups. So maybe a um, um, a um, a push-up against the wall. Uh, you can do a incline push-up, a decline push-up, uh, flat push-up, uh, sagittal plane of motion, so you can do a regular push-up, frontal plane of motion, you can do a Spider-Man push-up or uh, push-up walking sideways, a transverse push-up would be like a push-up to rotation, uh, concentrics, you can focus more on explosiveness, eccentrics, you can focus more on decelerating yourself to the floor, isometrics, you can hold yourself down on the push-up, stability, you can do a push-up on a ball, strength, would be maybe adding weight to your push-up again, power, maybe a power push-up, where you push up, clap off the ground. Um, and that's just one exercise. So it, you can really see how you can change uh, so many so many variables in just one specific exercise. That why, that's why, you know, in my experience, I have never really done the same workout routine with each client once, because I'm always changing a variable based off what their bodies can handle, what, what the bodies can accomplish.